Hey everybody, Colin here, an exciting time of the year. The big update to Photoshop 2023 is here. Right now, I'm gonna show you my favorite new features. The first new feature we're gonna look at is Delete and Fill. What Delete and Fill does is it essentially uses Content Aware Fill, but it also expands the edges so we don't get an edge. Let me show you what I mean. Say I wanna add a background blur to this photo. I'm gonna grab the Object Selections tool, and I'm gonna choose Select Subject. Oh, by the way, grab the Cloud option, you're gonna get a better selection. All right, I'm going to hit Control J just to copy that to a new layer. Now, here's the thing. If I just blur the background, this is what happens. You know, just I'll just add a huge blur just so you can see. Now, what happens is you get these edges, these halos. See how the color kind of spills off? Let me just click OK, and we're going to hide that. You can see all it's doing is blurring those people, and those edges are also blurring, which makes for a very, very fake-looking blur. So the solution to this is to fill the background area and then show this across the top so i'm going to hide it and i'm going to hit Control t now watch what happens when we use regular content aware fill turn off the selection and look at this we've got this weird edge so if i supply the blur we're still going to have that issue so what do i do so to get around that you usually have to go into the selection expand the selection and then apply content aware fill so this is essentially what this new delete and fill does all right so i'm going to right click on here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do delete and fill selection. Now watch what happens on this versus content aware. Look at that. Beautiful and clean. And then if we show our foreground object, then blur the background. And I'll use a better blur here. We'll use the lens blur. The reason I want to use that is because we can apply these kind of shapes a little bit and get a nice bokeh kind of effect in the background. Now, if you look at that, we've got our beautiful blurred background. No halos on the edges, nice crisp edges. So photo restoration can be a lot of work. In this case, we've got stains, we've got scratches, it's faded. Let's use AI in Photoshop to fix this. Now, this has been in the public beta for a short amount of time, but now it's in the mainstream Photoshop. So we're gonna grab the filters and we're gonna grab the neural filters. And these are gonna load up. And if you see a little cloud by any of these, that means just click on that cloud to download them. So the one we're looking at right now is photo restoration. So let's turn that on and it's going to apply on here. You can see at the bottom here, it's processing on device. Now there's a toggle inside the preferences where you can do it on the cloud where you'll get a better result, but it takes a little bit longer. All right. So look at that. That's not bad right off the bat. Now let's see what we can do with the scratch reduction. Let's pull that up a little bit. And look at that. See how those scratches are just gone? So we can adjust the amount. We can enhance the faces. If you want the faces to be a little bit sharper or a little clearer, we can increase that. The photo enhancement, we've got, a, we can adjust the amount of any one of these sliders. And if we look under adjustments, we've got other things too that we can apply, which don't really apply to this, but halftone artifacts reduction could be good if you've got something from a scan from a magazine, say. Now notice it didn't get that little bit there in the face. You would still have to go in with the clone stamp and do that, but it's definitely giving you a good start. I can see it's kind of faded to the bottom too, which, you know, we could fix all of these things, but it's definitely giving us, you know, getting us going. We've got some major new features inside of Camera Raw, so we're gonna choose Filter, and then we're gonna choose the Camera Raw Filter. Now these are the same features that are inside of Lightroom Classic. So check out my other video on Lightroom Classic where I'm diving deep into some of these features that we're just gonna kind of touch on here. All right, so let's open up the masking here and then we can see create new mask. And then the big one here is people. If you look at this, there's one, two, three, four, five. It actually selected all those people. So if I choose all people, it's gonna enable me to edit all the people. But what if I just wanted to do maybe the hair on the people. So I could choose here, look at that. It selects all the hair on everybody, or the faces, the bodies, eyebrows, eye sclera, which is the whites of the eyes, irises and pupils, lips, teeth, and hair. All right, so say we wanna select all these people and we want to do the face skin together. We just crit create and it's create a mask just of those faces. So if I wanted to soften those faces, we would just go down. So we go to effects and we're gonna grab the texture and I could pull it down to the left and soften the skin on all those faces at once if I wanted. 
Now, of course, we can do, you know, any of the people individually or any parts of their face individually, which I've done on my Lightroom tutorial, which also applies to Camera Raw, so check that out. So we can add or subtract from here, but that's an exciting new feature. All right, let's go back in and let's look at some more of these features. So let's go back to the selection because we're using our selection tools here. And now we can choose background. If we choose background, it's going to select everything but our subject. Now, if we don't want the sky in there, we're just simply going to choose subtract and sky. And there we go. Now we've really got our background. And why don't we, what if we don't want to include this man in there either? Well, here's another new one. So if we hit subtract, there's another tool here, which is the select objects. And with the select objects, we have the ability to use a brush or a square. Why don't we try the little square and I'm going to draw a square over the man. And notice it detects him, removes him from that selection. So we can now go in and select different objects within a photograph. Very, very exciting. Now, if I want to make some adjustments, let me show you another new feature. And we can now include curves. So let's add some curves to the background. Look at that. We can do that and see how it's not affecting anything else. Just that background. So we can give that a little bit of punch there. Give it pump up the contrast a little bit on the background if we want and it doesn't affect the car, the man, or the sky. What about this manhole? If we want to get rid of this manhole, let me show you another new feature. So under the healing brush, we now have this new one, which is a content aware remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over this manhole and look at that. It just gets rid of it. So it's like content aware fill, which is now inside of camera raw. And if you want to do a much deeper dive into those AI selections inside of Camera Raw, check out my Lightroom tutorial, which the tools are identical in Lightroom and Camera Raw. And let me know in the comments underneath which is your favorite new feature. And if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.